Yo guys, welcome to BeastBrotherhood.com and in today's execution plan, we're going to be covering how chains can help you actually bust through strength training plateaus, help you get bigger numbers on your bench, uh, help you squat more, deadlift more, actually do heavier bar curls. Pretty much any bar exercise you can throw chains on if you, if you think about it. Um, <clears throat> chains are cool because you set them up correctly then the resistance during the movement actually varies. So as the bar is closer to the floor, uh, the resistance is less, and as the bar leaves the floor, it actually gets heavier, okay? So as you can see, I set the chains up on the squat bar, it's in the rack here. The chains go all the way down to the floor where they are. There's just a few links on the floor. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but there's only like two or three links that are on the floor. Um, so the majority of the chain is suspended, okay? Now how it works is when you squat, or when you press, or when you pull a bar off the ground on a deadlift, the chains actually get lower and the bar gets lighter, if that makes any sense. Okay, so you're here. So as you if you notice, the bar gets lighter, the chains get closer to the floor, and that's how it actually helps break through those plateaus, okay? What it does is it creates a heavier lift at the top of the movement. Now there's one more step to this. You must make sure that you are around a weight that you are having trouble with, okay? So let's say your max bench is 250. Let's say you can only bench 250 for one. No, a squat. Let's say your max squat is 250 because we're squatting right now. Max squat is 250. So at the top of the movement where the chains are suspended, it should weigh about 250. Each one of those chains I think is about 22 pounds. We can even say 25. Round it off. So you would want to make sure that all the, the plates on the bar and the bar weighs 225. So that at the top of the movement it weighs your max. Now what this is going to allow you to do is do more reps of your max because at the hard part of the movement, which is in the hole at the bottom of the squat, uh, you are actually, it's actually lighter and you're able to bang up more reps. It's only 250, which is your max, at the very, very top of the movement. Hopefully that makes sense. So as you progress through your sets, the weight gets heavier and at the top of the movement, at lockout, you are hitting your max. So essentially you're doing your max at the top, um, but with a variable resistance. Okay, so hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. Um, and I guarantee you that if you do your squats this way for a few weeks and at the top of the movement it weighs your max, you will be stronger uh, in a few weeks time and you'll, able to do, you'll be able to do more reps of your old max, which would have been 250. All right, and then once that, once you get you get stuck at that way, throw the chains on the bar again, and then you do, you know, make sure at the top of the movement uh, is your new max and progress that way. Now, I wouldn't use chains all the time, like, don't go throwing chains on every single one of your workouts or every one of your lifts. Use them as a tool, it's just a tool, like everything else. Um, it's just a tool. So, again, don't throw your chains on every single lift that you do. You don't, I mean, it's just kind of a douchey thing to do. <laughs> Uh, but just keep lifting heavy, and if you get stuck, remember that if your gym has chains or you have access to chains, throw them on the bar. They could definitely help you bust through those plateaus, okay? Hopefully this made some sense. Hopefully I didn't overcomplicate it for you guys. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them below. Go all the way down to the bottom, open up the toggle, uh, and ask your questions in that Facebook, at that Facebook link. It'll bring you to our private Facebook group and we'll go over any questions you may have uh, in that group. Also, we'll go over a few exercises using the chains and how you can use them and rig it up so that uh, you know you can use it for your bench, your deads, your squats, um, pretty much the majority of your lifts and I'll show you how to get that done. All right guys, until the next one, uh, Chris Lopez, BeachBrotherhood.com and I'll see you guys soon.